Hi, this is Dr. Danny Brussel coming to you from Idaho Falls, Idaho by the moose. The moose inspired me because uh, a friend of mine was telling me, hey Danny, why don't you give that many tips for girls? Uh, well, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, we know that four out of five of our struggling and reluctant readers are usually gonna be boys. Boys and girls are very different. Girls will read books about little boys. Little boys won't read books typically about uh, about little girls. Uh, but also, uh, I was thinking about, well, what are the types of things that girls do like to read? Um, I have two daughters of my own and they love animals. And so I saw this moose and I was inspired because they've always wanted to see a moose. And here I am right in front of the moose. And so here's a tip for the day. You got a kid that loves animals and most kids, boys and girls love animals. Uh, you definitely read lots of animal books. Uh, those are some of uh, the favorite when I was teaching the little ones, uh, they always wanted and I mean, that's one of the cool things about kids. I've been watching the kids in the park here. Uh, they've been going after every type of animal uh, sculpture that they can. It's really a lot of fun. And that's what I have. I have a lot of fun when I get to uh, read books about them. I was actually thinking about uh, uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle, and so uh, Bullwinkle was a moose. And on that show, they had one of my favorite things, which was called uh, Fractured Fairy Tales, where they would take a, a fairy tale, but they would have a little bit of a twist on it. And that's really one of those genres that spawned out of that, where you get all these now fairy tales that are a little bit different, uh, where uh, maybe instead of uh, Cinderella being a girl, Cinderella's a boy, and uh, uh, instead of uh, the three little pigs, or the uh, the big bad uh, wolf, maybe it's the big bad pig and the three little wolves. I love stuff like that. And so if you really want to get your kid excited about reading, they like animals, make sure to expose all kinds of fun animal books to your kid. You can find all kinds of tips like this when you go to readbetterin67steps.com. Every day for 67 consecutive days, I show you as a parent something you can do with your child for only 20 minutes a day to get them pumped up about reading. Why 20 minutes a day? Because the more they read, the better they're going to get. And it's your job as a child, my job as a teacher, to really get the kid excited about reading. What good is it teaching a kid how to read if they're never excited about reading? This program's great because we're going to teach your kid how to love reading. So make sure you go to readbetterin67steps.com there. Get a copy of my uh, free book, The Reading Breakthrough, and let me help you help your child learn to become a better, more proficient, and most importantly, a more passionate reader. Can't wait to go on this journey with you. Remember, you make a difference every day and you are your child's most important role model as a parent. Thanks for all that you do.